Hey everybody, welcome to another fly tying episode. I'm Sean Holsinger, your host from HolsingersFlyShop.com. Uh, you know me, I'm always on the lookout for a new stonefly pattern. And one of the guys that regularly comes into the shop um, asked me to, he found this one online and thought it was really cool looking and asked me how to tie it. And uh, so I looked it up and it is really cool looking. So uh, the guy that originally tied it, he has a channel called 2B on the Water. And uh, he doesn't have a video for it there, but he has pictures of it on his website, and he has it in a whole lot of different colors, and uses it for the salmon and steelhead run up in New York, which, you know, I do every year. And uh, I'm actually going to be taking a few of these as we talk right now. If you're watching this as it comes out, I'll be uh, packing my bags to go to Alaska tomorrow, and uh, some of these will be in Alaska with me, so hopefully I get some up there. And uh, but anyhow, it's a really easy stone fly to tie, a uh, couple materials, and it looks really good. So let's get into tying it here. I'm gonna show it to you in the vise in a like a golden stone, but then I'm gonna tie it in a darker color, which I'll probably fish a good bit for you know the steelhead and stuff. I oftentimes like to use dark and flashy up there when I go for steelhead. So so like I said, you'll see it in yellow, and then I'm gonna tie it in a different color. So. Sit back and I uh, hope you enjoy. Okay, here you see the fly in the vise. Like I said, this is the golden stone color. Um, I'm using black wire some gold medium tinsel medium hollow tinsel and butter rum is the color of my estaz so let's get into tying it the way i'm going to tie it this i'm going to fish locally but let's get into tying it the way i'm going to fish it up north and uh, we're going to start out by putting a size size 8 718 fire hole hook Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some lead wire on this. This is uh, .020 lead wire. And I'm going to start it back about where the barb would be if it wasn't a barbless hook. And I'm going to wrap it forward to about, I'm going to say about two eye lengths behind the eye. I like to get, you know, I like to have my stone flies heavy. And uh, just because I don't like to put a lot of weight on my line that I... A lot of extra weight up in New York when I fish up there you have to use some weight though but you can see there about how much lead I have next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cover that lead up with some uh, 140 denier black thread and I'm just going to hold that in place there tie it all down get it tied down okay now we're going to add some ultra wire this is medium black ultra wire and I'm gonna cut off a fairly long piece of it I'm gonna say it's about eight inches long because you're gonna have to use a good bit of this per fly so I'm gonna bring this back right back to the back of the lead and we're just gonna tie it down there and I'm gonna tie this back around the bend of the hook and you can see about how far I went there now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make nice tight side-by-side -side wraps if you get sloppy here, it makes it harder to wrap your wire up here in a second. So, next thing I want to do, I want this to be a, sorry, I want this to be the, the tinsel to shine through. So I'm going to get some medium clear vinyl D-rib. And we're just going to cut off a nice chunk of it. And we're going to tie it down behind the lead also. Now... This is D-rib, so that means it's in the shape of a D. So one side of it will be flat, and you can barely, barely see that. One side's going to be flat. I'm going to put the flat side up, and where I'm going to tie that down is right at the back of that lid. So it blends in and makes a nice transition from the D-rib onto that lid. You can see there it's nice and smooth. And then I'm going to take and just tie it down real nice. Get it nice and tight. And then I'm going to cover up this lead a little bit just to smooth it out. Build a little body at the front because it will get a little bit thinner. 
because you're not building stuff up back there or up there I should say okay next thing we're going to use is some Vivas tinsel I'm going to give you a shot of it here there is what I'm using it's a rainbow colored and like I said the link will be in the description so you can find it there alright we're just going to tie that down on the top of the hook I'm going to wrap that right back to the D-rib and then we're going to wrap our thread forward and we're going to wrap this tinsel up actually before I do that I want to add my bead chain eye so I'm going to bring my thread right up here to the eye okay once I have my thread at my eye I'm going to take these pink bead chain eyes and I'm going to set it right on top now you're going to get the bead chain in a big long string and you're just going to cut two of the two of the uh, round pieces off there with a pair of pliers or old scissors because it's actually wire that connects them so don't use your good scissors to do it and get deep in the scissors and then you're just going to wrap that on there crisscross them back and forth get that secure in place now you see I'm going to turn that over you see I tied that very close to the eye that's fine and uh, it's fine to get it that close because I want them right up at the head so now we're going to wrap our tinsel up and we're just going to make nice side by side wraps this tinsel is nice because it's large it'll cover a large area quickly and the rainbow color is actually really cool looking when you wrap it up here gives you a lot of different colors and nice transitions from one to another so just wrap that up there as far as you want and that's going to be a uh, okay one little tip here if you're doing a lot of these put your um, put your tinsel on a bobbin and it will help control that better you'll have better control of your tinsel and that won't happen you won't unwind like that because this can slip out of your hand pretty easily so now that we're back up here where we need to be and we're going to go a little bit less than a third of the fly for our S test okay so we're gonna tie that off there and like I said a little bit less than a third the total length from here up to here you see this is gonna be our S test amount right in here so now that I have that tied off the tinsel I'm gonna bring my uh, D rib up and I'm gonna make sure that bottom side is facing down and we're just gonna side by side nice tight wraps and you see this clear D-rib that rainbow color tinsel shines through there really nicely and we're just gonna wrap this up to where the tinsel ends and we're gonna come in and tie this off then Now that that's tied off, <clears throat> we are going to take our wire back here to back. And what we're going to do is we're just going to make a nice little wire tail with this. And I'm going to make nice tight side by side wraps. And like I said earlier, you had, if you, um, if you make nice tight wraps with your thread, this will work a lot easier. And you can get these nice and tight and they look real nice and smooth so we're just going to wrap this up and whenever we get up here to where it's going to roll up I'm just going to find that groove in the D-rib the natural groove and we're going to follow it up and we're going to give this a nice rib so it takes a good bit of this because you're going to make it each one of these ribs up through here and all that you're wrapping on the back it takes almost eight inches to do a size eight so get that wrapped up and then we're just going to tie it off up front and we're almost done with this fly you see how easy it is and how it's a nice big fly but it doesn't take much to tie so the last thing we're going to put on I'm going to put some purple Estaz on of course we're going for steelhead and stuff like that steelhead love purple so let's get some of this on we're going to put some purple Estaz right at the end of that D-rib tie it down nice and tight all you need to do is make about 
three wraps here. Three wraps and you got plenty at that distance. So we're just gonna tie it off. And finish off my head here. So we're just gonna make sure I get all that Estaz back out of the way. And then you can tie it off right behind them bead chains. You can do your whip finish. And that is all that's to this fly. So here's our whip finish. Add some head cement if you want to. And that is all. Don't be afraid to mix up your colors. Okay, there you saw. Easy pattern to tie. A uh, little bit of practice, you'll get right onto it. And uh, change things up. Mix things up with your bead chain color and the color of flash you use under your uh, D rib. And of course, change the D rib too. So you can just endless combinations of colors you can come up with here. And uh, just play around, have fun, see what works for you in your area. That's what fly tying is all about. You know, finding the best fly that works for you in your area. So. Have fun tying, guys. Like I said, uh, like we've been doing here now, all the materials that we sell on our website will be listed in the description. So just scroll down and you can click directly. It will take you to our website. And um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, come on, keep giving me these suggestions like this, and uh, I'll keep trying to bring them for you. So until next week, guys, I'm Sean Holsinger. <laughs>